All right. Um, today, what we're looking at is module one. Uh, I should say two. Let me fix that. Can't fix it right now, but I will fix it afterwards. It'll say module two, lesson four. It should say module two, lesson four up here, too. So it's module two, lesson four, question set. Guess I got that fixed. You won't even know the difference. Um, sorry about that. Um, we're going to look at the question set, and we're going to see what the answers are and why they are. So first, we need to read the passage. Passage one from Deeds of Rama, from Ramayana Divine Loophole by Sanjay Patel. One day during their training, they visited Vishvamitra's ashram, which is a place of religious retreat, only to find that it was plagued by, meaning harassed or troubled by, a demon named Tataka. The Rishi Vishvamitra explained that due to his vow of nonviolence, he could not take up arms or fight against the demon. Instinctively, Rama drew back his bow and the disrespectful demon was soon vanquished, defeated, completely defeated. As Vishvamitra performed last night's on the slain dragon, which means it was not just defeated, it was dead, he explained that Rama's action would have ramifications or consequences in the future and cautioned him to always be mindful of his duty. And we remember that duty is the same thing as Dharma. Passage two from Nosy Demon. The demon bared her fangs and raised her claws toward the princess, but before the demon Sorpanaka could strike, Rama intervened or stepped in. He told the demon that if she would leave and promised to never return, her life would be spared. As he waited for her response, Lakshman burst upon the scene, brandishing his sword, ready to chop the demon down. But before Lakshman could strike, Rama ordered him to lower his weapon. Sor Panaka cursed the three of them and swore that she would destroy Sita when their guard was down. Their creature's words enraged Lakshman and sent his sword flying, cutting off the demon's nose. Howling in pain, Sorpanaka fled the jungle. The crisis was averted or prevented, or so they thought. All right. What does spared mean in this context? So this was from passage two. He, Rama, told the demon that if she would leave and promise to never return, her life would be spared. Was he saying her life would be cursed, saved, shortened, or satisfied? Well, it's not cursed because he was trying to get her to go, so he was remembering karma. Saved would be spared, would be saved. That kind of makes sense. Would be shortened, that doesn't make sense, and satisfied doesn't make sense. The answer has to be saved. This question, based on this sentence, readers can infer that Rama believes that, okay, so again, he, Rama, told the demon that if she would leave and promise to never return, her life would be spared. This has nothing to do with the battle ending and a victory. That Sor Panaka cannot be trusted. Well, he was trying to get her to go. He's trying to trust her. It is truly, it is his duty to destroy demons. He's not trying to do that. Or he truly believes that Sor Panaka will not try to hurt them. That's what it has to be. How does Rama's behavior in passage two show a change from passage one? Well, let's go back up and look. Here in passage one, he kills Tataka without thinking, knowing that karma may get him. But he was doing his duty. He was protecting Vishwamitra. But here he's trying to talk it through and not have negative karma coming after him. So there's a change. He was trying to be more level-headed. So in passage one, Rama acts without thinking. Yep, that's true. This one says, and he's brave. He's brave. He doesn't ask for help, and he doesn't seem unsure. So we know it's not those two. So it's between these two. In passage one, Rama acts, acts without thinking, and then he thinks about consequences. That is true. Let's see. In passage one, he's brave, and then he's timid. No, I don't think that's true at all. It has to be the first one. Yes, right there. And then finally, how does the last sentence of passage two contribute to the development of the plot? Last sentence in passage two. The crisis was averted, or so they thought. Hmm. It shows Sorpanaka was not finished. Oh, yeah, that's true. It, is, it helps the reader understand that Lakshman is better protector. Oh, that needs to be fixed, too. I'll fix that afterwards. No, nope, that's not true. It helps the reader understand that Lakshman can't... No. 
It shows that Lakshman solved the problem. No, he knows. It shows that Sorpanaka is not finished trying to destroy Sita. Let's make that a capital S there. I'll do that. And let's finish. Oh, I saw a typo protector right here. Let's fix that. All right, pro protector. Very good. All right, so that is this passage and checking it out. I hope this helps.